Um, today I have Sheena with me and we are going to do something super duper fun. So she's cutting off her hair. Um, what I want to show you guys, um, we're going to color her hair. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. But first off, when you know somebody's going to chop their hair off, um, we're going to cut it to about here. So I'm going to bring it, you know, the length down a little bit further down than what she wants it. But there's no sense in coloring all this hair, obviously, if she's cutting it off. So, I'm just showing you guys, you know, what I'm doing as far as that, you know, cutting it off. So, just cutting the length off here, which is fun for me and probably a little scary for Sheena. Now, we did this just, I want to say just a couple years ago. Um, was it two years ago? Yeah. yeah, I think it was two years ago. We had chopped it up, you know, to her shoulders with some fun layers. It was darling. And, but her hair grows like a weed, so she can do it again. So, um, it's pretty fun. Okay, so obviously it's not like totally, totally even. I'm just getting the length off so we don't have to deal with it, okay? All right, now, next what I want to show you, um, she wants dark underneath. So, I'm going to take just above her ear here. And go straight across. I am going to take this little piece. See that little piece? I'm going to do that dark just in front of her ear. So when it lays, there's going to be just a little bit of dark that comes underneath, in the front. Okay, so I'm going to just flip this out of the way. I'm going to use a tin volume um, because that um, just deposits color. Okay, the tin volume. Okay, I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to use a 4N, and that's just a dark natural color. The N is just, you know, for the natural, but it is going to be dark. So, and then what's fun is we're going to do bleach in the top with a 5, with a 6RV and a 5VV. Um, which is super fun because it's it's kind of a bright red, but it kind of goes pinkish with the blonde kind of when it mixes. Anyway, it's really cool looking. So I'm excited to do that. We did this last time when we did her hair and I didn't know that she was changing it this much. So I told her, okay, next time you do that, let me know so we can videotape it. So it's really fun, um, a cool color. Um, something different, which I totally love. Okay, so I've just mixed that up, okay? Um, I'm going to come around here. And... I always like to just come, like, right here where the... where I parted off first. there. Okay, go around the hairline on both sides. Okay, then I always like to just take the middle here. Okay, now I'm pulling this um, four in, obviously through her whole ends, okay? Like, like I said, it's a deposit only 10 volume, and I'm just going to take another little section here. You don't want to take too big of sections because you want to make sure that that color um, gets distributed, you know, evenly throughout the hair. Now, um, with the bleach up 
top. I'm going to mix that with a 40 volume. Um, we want her, her blonde to be really blonde. That's going to lift up four levels, um, the 40 volume. So that's what we're going to do with the bleach. Um, as far as adding the, the 5 double V and the 6 RV, which is a red violet, um, I'm going to use the 10 volume. Now, if he was doing this on somebody that, that has some gray, like back here, you know, the dark or whatever, you'd want to use a 20 volume because 20 volume covers gray. But obviously, Sheena has none. <laughs> no. <laughs> that we know mm -hmm. of yet so far. <laughs> She's way too young for that. Anyway, so we are just doing 10 volume with her. kind of fun. The spring weather makes you want to kind of change it up a little. So this one's a fun one. Fun, fun color. Okay, so we have that on the back. Then I just like to take it, just kind of twist it around in a little circle, put a clip there. Okay, then I'm just going to take my gloves off. So I can start, there we go. So I can start the weave part. I'm just gonna throw my gloves away. Okay. All right, now 10 volume, I'm gonna mix the red, okay? And I'm gonna do, um, equal parts. So for the five double V, and this is permanent, this is top chic. So I'm going to do equal parts of the five double V and, this, and the six RV, like I said, which is a red violet. Equal parts. Okay, now I'm going to take the bleach. I'm going to take a scoop of bleach. Like I said, I'm going to use the 40 volume, so it lifts up four levels, so we get the brightness. Okay, and I don't know what foils you guys use. Um, I just love, love these pop-up foils. I'll show them to you. It's from Product Club. Sorry, just got to make sure this is mixed well. Again, 10 volume with this. I'm going to add a tiny bit more. Okay, then I'm just going to take a foil and cover the back. Now what I'm going to do is, you guys, like she usually parts about here. So I'm going to do a mohawk section. Um, like bringing my foils up this way, okay? Okay. I don't want to take like the whole time to leave all this because you guys will get bored. So I'm going to show you the pattern of what I'm going to do. Um, and then as soon as we're done, then I'll bring you back to the haircut. Okay, so you obviously want to take a thin section, okay? You don't want to take a large, a large section. Okay, first off, I'm going to do a red. Okay, kind of a medium. You can see this, a medium weave. It's not too thick, not thin. Okay, I'm going to... These are the pop-up foils I was telling you about. You don't have to cut them. They are ready to go. Okay, so I'm taking one of the red. Okay, you want to co cover the whole strand, the whole part of the hair. Okay, 
and then I'm going to come on this side, same thing, going to put the red in, a medium, weave. I always bend my foil over, hold the hair straight up, put your foil in, and then hold that foil in place with this hand, okay? And what we're going to do is, I'm doing this one red, and do you want two blonde to the other red, or do you want three blonde? Do you want it more blonde than red, um, or, or more equal? Well, let's do equal. Equal. Okay. So, where her hair's, you know, pretty much dark through here, I'm going to do one red on both sides first. So this is what I'm going to do around her head, except that, that top, okay? And I will explain that in one second. Okay, so where she's, you know, brown up top, I am going to do two blonde to one red. Okay, so that means I've got my red in, and now my next section, I am going to do a blonde. Again, a thin section. Um, the reason you want a thin section is it keeps um, the color close to your root, so you don't have already a line, <coughs> like regrowth. Okay, now I'm going to do a bleach. Now, if they already have white ends, you're not going to want to take this bleach all the way through the ends, okay? Um, it'll fry them off, so don't do that. If it is all dark, her ends are a tiny bit lighter, you can see here. So I'm not going to come all the way down. I'm just going to kind of brush that into it because I don't want those to fry. Okay, and then the ends that you don't do, just kind of push off to the side. Okay, and flatten that foil. Okay, now one more. Again, I'm doing the blonde. Medium weave. Now make sure, you know that uh, the bleach is going to swell a little bit when it gets um, warm, so you don't want to go like super, super close to the scalp, but I mean obviously go close, you know, to the edge, but make sure you know that that's going to swell, so you're going to get tiger stripes if you get too close. So, okay, see how I'm just kind of, like this one's a little darker. Those are a little lighter, I'm just leaving those out. So just kind of whatever you have to do with the hair, you'll be able to, you know, see what's light and what's not. Okay, so you can see, I went the red, then I did two blonde, now I'm gonna do the red. Okay, I'm gonna come straight up her head this way um, for the mohawk section, and then same thing, I'm gonna do the dark, Two blonde, dark, two blonde, dark, two blonde. Okay? Just the foils all throughout. Okay, so we will see you when we go to do her haircut. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Madonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. So I am back here with Sheena. Um, super fun color. I cannot wait to show you guys when it's dry. Uh, what we are going to do is her haircut, okay? Um, okay, go ahead and put your head down. So have them put their head down. Now she wants it to sit on her shoulder, so you're obviously going to, once it dries, it's going to shrink a tiny bit. So I'm going to go about to here with her length. Okay, I always like to go from the middle um, to the left, and then I like to go from the middle to the right. Okay, now when you get to this side area, you put their head up and tilt it a little bit. 
to the side. Because if you leave their head down, like pointed down, you're going to cut that and it's going to be shorter. Sorry, I'm going to put your head back up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be shorter in the front. So you want to make sure their head is facing up or you're going to have short in the front. Which people usually like it a little longer <laughs> in front. Okay, so after I get this, um, the length cut around, I'm going to ask her, you know, if that's about the right length. You can always go shorter. Um, so I do recommend staying a little bit longer at first until you know exactly where they want it. video with her color, we cut a lot of length off. So it's super fun. It'll be fun to see the before and after pictures. Okay, then you're going to tilt the head, just make it normal. Looking forward. Make sure both sides are even. Okay, Sheena, do you want to fill that and see if that's about the right length you're thinking? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. All right, now my next thing I'm going to do is take a section just straight across the middle. If you want to take littler sections, go for it. You can start down here and take a section, okay? Um, and then I'm going to take uh, the middle part of this section, and I'm going to hold it out. And I'm going to bring this kind of, not straight up this way, but out a tiny bit. Take that corner off. Then the next section, I'm gonna pull that out. There's a guideline behind it. You can see from the hair you cut before, just so you stay right, um, you know, so it's right together there. Okay, pull that back. Okay, then I'm gonna take a section to the left, a little bit to the left. You can see that guide point behind, you know, underneath there, like I was saying. And pull those pieces out and see if you're good. Okay, now <laughs> I'm going to take another little section here. Push that out of the way. Okay, see that guide point right there? You can see that hair underneath. See, you're just gonna take all this off right there. Okay, now when you get to this part, you're gonna start to come more straight <coughs> this way. Okay, so when you come up there, See how I'm kind of coming up this way? Okay, you can start to see those layers in there. See that dark underneath? It's going to be fun when we dry it. feel like you need to take littler sections, go for it. That's no problem. Okay, let me turn it this way so you guys can see. I'm just going to follow that guide point. Now I'm just kind of doing a 90 degree right around her head here. So see up here? 
I'm straight up, okay, on the top of the head. This is gonna layer it really nice and fun. Again, 90 degrees up here. Angle. Just follow that guide line. This way, that way, either or. The guide line will be there, okay? Okay, now once I get that back, I'm just going to take a section, all this top, hold it straight up. I got some of that front, so it'll be a little bit longer. Um, so I do need to take this off. And you'll be able to see that because of the guide points on the side. Then just even that out. Okay, so there's the layers in the back. Now... I'm going to angle this a little bit up so it's a tiny bit longer in the front. And then once you dry, you know, you can take more off if you would like. Okay, so I'm taking, I'm like splitting this in half, okay, behind the ear. And I'm going to hold this straight up. See, that's falling out. That's your length right there. So you're totally fine to just come straight across and take that off. See that fall? That's your length. Okay, so you just come straight across there. Okay, perfect. Now she parts on this side. This. Do you want it more one length in the front or do you want it up a little bit? No, let's do it up a little bit. Up a little bit, okay. So probably around here, do you think? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start around here to give this a little bit of shape around her face. And like I said, you know, once you dry, then you can see if you want to go a little shorter or whatever. Okay, then you're just going to want to even this, you know, come over and see where this side is going. Starting, I guess I should say. And then just even that out on both sides. When you texturize, don't go right to the scalp. You're going to want to bend this. Right where it bends is where it's heavy. So you go in and take some of that bulk out. Okay, I'm going to do it on the sides. Again, don't take it where there's a part or don't go right down to the scalp. See that bend right there? I like to just kind of do this with my shears, texturizing shears. Again, I'm using my Saki shears. I love those. And it's Saki, S-A-K-I. That's how you spell it. Okay, perfect. So there is that haircut, and we will show you 
um, the style in the next video. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Ragana from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Okay, so I have Sheena with me. What I've done is I've just round brushed her hair and dried it, but you can see how it's, you know, kind of roundish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to flat iron this, okay? So we're gonna take a little section about middle of the ear, straight across. And then you're gonna take it and just come straight down with it, okay? Um, I have a Babyliss Pro, that's my flat iron, and I love that. This one's one of the bigger ones. Um, there's a lot that are a little bit littler that you can get also, depending on the length of your hair or what you want. Okay, so you just bring that straight down. Then we're going to take the next section and just do a mic about an inch of hair at a time. Um, people think that if they just let it down and hurry and flat iron it, that it's faster. It's really not. Um, I find that people that do that, they go over the same pieces 800 times because they feel like it's not straight enough. So if you just take littler sections and just go over it, you know, one to two times, then it's going to be a lot healthier on your hair. And it really is faster, even though you think taking little sections up is going to take forever. It really doesn't. So, anyway, take another section, and like I said, just take it straight down, but you can see that pretty color in there, that is so, so much fun. Okay, and then this side. Okay, what I put in her hair is an Ad Volume Mousse. It gets on the hair strand and it swells it. It's from KMS. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you've I use it all the time. I love, 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 love it. <coughs> and the ones that use it, you've, you've probably noticed they've changed their packaging. It used to be in a green bottle. Um, and now it is in a gray bottle. So... Look at that gorgeous color, like gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> so fun. You get more excited than you. I know, I do. You know me all too well. <laughs> that haircut that we did is fun because then you can see the dark underneath that makes it really fun um, the other thing I was going to mention to you guys um, is there's just a few little pieces there um, anyway is when you rinse that color out that I did um, you know how we did one red to two blonde what you're going to do is when you rinse it, you're going to want to go to all the red and rinse it first. You can see on a couple little pieces, the blonde's got a little bit of pinkish color to it. Um, and that's even me rinsing out the red first, um, which that'll go away in a couple days after she washes it. But I just wanted you guys to know um, that so you don't just rinse it all out together and you will have pink hair uh, because this is such a, a bright color that having that blonde and that much violet and red it really will go pink so like I said which she kind of wanted that look anyway but um, if you're not wanting as much of that look just rinse it out as much as you can before oh my goodness so good okay so you can see that it took it from like that bobbish look, roundish look, to just straight and flat. In fact, I'm gonna take this off so you can see against her shirt how cute that is. Okay, and she just likes to wear her hair just down and soft, so we are gonna leave it down and soft. 
and thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.